Hi guys, heading out to catch some catfish, or at least try. We're fishing in flood stage conditions. It's going to be muddy. There's going to be some current. But we're going to see what we can do. Small fish hooked up. It's hard to tell what you got in the current. A 10 or 12 pound fish, maybe A. Yeah, about 8 pounds. Healthy fish. Good Lake Wiley fish. I'm going to give you my take on fishing these rising water flood stage conditions where I'm at. This is what has historically worked for me. Maybe different where you guys are at. We saw the lake shoot up here about three feet uh, within probably 36 hours. So typically that first 48 hours of that rising water when it goes up to its peak is some good fishing if you can get out those first days heck when it's still raining and still coming up that first 36 48 hours is good fishing water's on the rise fish are all over the place they're moving they're biting good uh, and it's some good fishing I'm on about the third day of this I had to work the first two which is always the case whenever we get rising water I seldom get to get out here right on the rise so uh, we're at that point now where they've been moving water constantly 24 hours a day, which is odd for our lakes. That doesn't happen. Uh, the lakes are starting to drop a little bit. Not much, only down about six inches from full pond, but they're dropping them. So all that stuff that may have been working will start to change when that water starts to drop. That's typically what we experience here. Like I said, that may be different where you fish, but around here, the third, fourth, fifth day of a flood when they're dropping it, usually the bite is a lot tougher than it was in the beginning. You can still catch fish. Uh, you just have to put in the time and you have to find them. They're still hungry fish, fish are still going to eat. Uh, it's just you got to work for them a little bit harder. So it's kind of the take, patient, and got confidence we'll find some fish. Hooked up, anchored up, got a fish finally. Coming to the top. Not a monster, but we'll take it. That rod went off too. that ugly eyeball. That is creepy. What is creepy eyeball? Alright guys, it has been a couple of hours since I've caught a fish. I'm not kidding. Uh, I'm still at three fish. I've done some Facebook live stuff here and uh, it's been a hideous bite. Uh, Tried some stuff up the lake and some more current. Got to an eddy pocket, anchored up, see if there was some fish in the eddy. Not happening. Went where I'm not supposed to go. Uh, to the back of a creek, shallow water. The lake's starting to fall. It's probably the worst place you can go is shallow water when water's falling. Uh, just to see if there's fish biting back here. And as I expected, there's not. So, I gotta make a move and try something different. And uh, I'm running out of ideas and options, but hey. It's fishing. What have we got to lose? We're going to go try something. So, uh, take a little boat ride, see if we can find some fish. It's been miserable fishing, but I'm hooked up on what feels like a good fish. Alright, guys, I'm doing a whole lot of stuff I shouldn't be doing. This is a heavy fish. 
this is a heavy fish. If you're going to share something, now's the time to do it. Because you're either going to see me cry or bring a big fish in the boat. It's a heavy fish. Ah, come on. Heavy fish. It's a heavy one. Oh, there's the sinker. Big flathead. Monster flathead. Ah. Monster flathead. Monster. He'll go at least 12 pounds. This fish is going to go at least 12 pounds. <laughs> Sadly not. There it is. Guys, one last look at him. I'm going to put in big old slobber knocker back. Yeah, that fish. It's a great fish. That is a great fish. Back you go. What a fish. Alright guys, this fishing has been about what I expected today. Uh, three days of constant water flow through this lake and uh, some muddy water and it's just a tough bite. I got that one whopper flathead. That's a great fish. Uh, but it's been tough. Not even a lot of small fish biting. I put out some small baits to kind of mix it up a little bit here. So, uh, came to one last spot here toward the end of the day. What I'm going to try to do is maybe put a big fish in the boat. It's also got me out of perch rod. See if there's any perch in here. I'm going to try to catch some bait at the ramp because I'm really just about out of live bait. So I need to have some for tomorrow's trip and for Friday. So I'd like to get stocked up before I get out of here and before everything muddies up because even catching baits tough in the muddy water, they just kind of lock up. So. That's kind of fishing uh, the way it is on our lakes when uh, you've had this big of a rise and now the water's starting to recede. It's just tough fishing. So, uh, but like I said, you can always get a big when that flathead proves it. Uh, there's always a chance you can get a big fish. So you just keep fishing. You know, it's a you have your good days and your bad. You never know when the good ones are going to be, and you never really know when the bad ones are going to be. So you just uh, have to get out here and fish. So uh, let's just sit back and see what happens. Alright, I got one off the other side of the boat. Nothing too big. I'll take it. Now I got a fan. I got fans stopping to watch. It's always fun. Wondering who the hell am I talking to? Why am I talking to this pole? I'm getting ready to give them the snag rod to go catch fish. Things I did to entertain myself and others. And they'll take off and create a nice boat way for a second. There we go. Yay, they seen it. Blue number five, we finally caught another fish. <laughs> oh, it's been hideous. Good fish. All right, guys, that wraps up a tough day on the water, but like I said, I kind of expected that. This is not a, not good conditions for catching fish. We managed one monster, which made the day. I uh, wish we would have got more fish, but it's just tough fishing right now. That's the way it goes. Listen, if you like the videos, please hit subscribe down in the corner. That way you can be updated on all the new videos I have coming out and leave any questions or anything you want to talk about down in the comment section below because I love to read them and love to respond to them. Hope to see you on the water.